Hello guys, this is Tom from Halcyon. Today I will show you how to set up a special smart alert like virtual fans and uh, intrusion alarm that actually can send you either email or send you a pop-up alert on your, on your smartphone. I will show you all those. Now I will show you how to do it on the computer interface. If you like to do it on the DVR, it's pretty much similar. The menus, the menus are the same, but might look a little bit different but the idea is exactly the same so once you log into the dvr interface in this case you use internet explorer you will go to configuration and you will go to event and under event we will choose smart event now under smart event the basic features that coming with the dvr without adding any any special it cameras and the most useful features are the intrusion detection. With intrusion detection, we can actually make a square or a specific area, and we can tell the DVR to send us alert when something is going in or out from this area. And the other useful feature is the line crossing detection. Now, keep in mind that on the basic DVR, like the AR, Series, you can only set up those features on one camera. On the HR DVR, which is the more advanced DVR, like the one we're showing here, you can do more than one camera. So let's start with the intrusion detection. So in this case, we want to make a square. Let's go to the outside camera. It's going to be a little bit easier. We already have this feature set up here. So on this camera, I made a square. A specific area and I told the system whenever something coming to this area on a specific schedule it will send me a pop-up alert on my phone. Now to do this square what we need to do this first I'm going to draw a square so I just click and I can do the square. Right click will lose the, the setting, the drawing, and you can set up the other setting like sensitivity. Now sensitivity is technically how sensitive the motion detection inside this area will be. So once you put a square, we need to make sure the the intrusion detection is enabled. Okay, and if you want you can add up to four regions, up to four areas that will detect intrusion. In this case, I just want to know when somebody comes next to the front door, it's going to send this uh, alert. Now, I also, in this case, I set up a schedule. In this specific case, between, between 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. on the weekdays and on the weekend, this alert is going to be enabled. And the link event will be Notify surveillance center, which means in this case will be my smartphone. Now, to enable this feature, you have to go to your smartphone app, you have to add the site, go to alert, and enable the alert from the specific site. Okay, now this is the basic feature. Whenever somebody or some motion, this can be also light from a crossing vehicle at night. Will anything will be changed inside this square? It's gonna send me a pop up alert on my phone, pop up event. Now, the same idea, similar idea, it's on the line crossing detection. So, on the line crossing detection, we can do the same thing here. It's exactly the same idea. I can draw a line, I can draw an area, and then I can move this area to wherever I want. So, let's say that I want. Every, every time somebody going into this door, every time somebody going to pass this line, either from A to B or from B to A, it's going to send me the alert. And then I can choose both direction, one, one direction, or the opposite direction, and the sensitivity. Okay, same thing. I can set up a schedule here, and I can make link an event. So those are all the events that I can audio, audio, audible warning. The DVR is just going to make uh, four beeps. And I can also an event happen. It can send me email. Email can be also a text message to your phone. Surveillance center in the basic use is going to be 
the pop up alert on the phone. Full screen monitoring, which means it's going to pop up the camera, specific camera for full screen, or upload the picture to the cloud if you're using the Edvision cloud. And that's it, guys, about those two very useful features. I use it all the time, it's very useful, especially when you want to know what's going on in a specific schedule when you when you're away from your office or away from your home, you can turn it on and off on your smartphone whenever you want. That's it guys, if you have any questions, just email us or call us, we will be happy to help.